377 has arrived yesterday and um, this is a car from a long-term customer whose shop has, I understood it, has given up on it and um, I, I bought it from him. We'll see what I can do with it. I drove it off the truck yesterday. It starts really hard. has uh, needed something like 30, 35 starting attempts to finally run. When it warmed up, it did run, had good power, so uh, I think this is probably nothing serious. I'll try and see what I can do, and we'll document what I do, because for other people who might have a hard starter, what it does is also it sinks, it blows out what I think is unburned fuel in the back, which leads me to believe that somebody has uh, messed with the CO adjustment screw. Many people think that where the CO adjustment is done is the idle, idle adjustment and it's not. I'll show that in detail later on. And at the moment I will try to get it running, drive it a bit and then see what I can do to improve the starting days. And normally they start at the first attempt, so typically this is something, a vacuum leak, wrong the SEO adjustment, that sort of thing. Uh, we'll see. I'm now going to try to start it uh, in real time here, so you can see what the before state is. Um, I often see people on, an, on a fuel-injected car pumping the gas. This is of no use. The pumping of the gas is basically on a carbureted engine squirting a bit of fuel by the accelerator pump out of the plug hole into the into the throttle, throttle body and this is not gonna help on a in fuel injected car. If you have the ignition on, the fuel pump is not running, it's running on a signal from the uh, distributor. As long as the distributor is not turning, the fuel pump won't run and you will not have any additional fuel. What helps though, um, I read that in what I call the Bosch Bible, that is a book uh, from Bosch, Gasoline Engine Management, and about the electronic that these cars have, it said that the ECU, or the computer, forgets previous starting attempts if you go all the way to lights off with the key between starting attempts. So basically if you, if you have uh, the lights on on the dash and you do several attempts like this, it will know that it has already, that already there was already an attempt to start it, and if you go all the way back, and then the ECU will have forgotten what happened. So it will not reduce uh, the amount of fuel to prevent starting. Okay, let's try.
interesting. The car punished me by starting as a first attempt. As I said yesterday, 30, 35 attempts until it finally started to light. What you have seen is the car idling really high. I think that has to do with the with the um, auxiliary air valves for the for the air condition, not for the for the engine. What the car does normally is it when when the uh, the compressor clutch engages the the auxiliary air valve for the air condition will open and that will increase idle. So what you will see is if it idles roughly around 900 normally it will go to 11, 1200 with the compressor engaged. It will do that also in the position with the air, air condition selector, swi uh, selector switch in a position where normally the comp compressor would be engaged and then you have high RPM with the compressor not doing anything. And this car is missing its air condition switch. So I don't know what happens then but I'm pretty sure this will have to do, this has to do with the high idle. The other strange thing is when it was uh, going down in RPM and almost dying and then back up, that was when I hit the brakes and let go. Then it came back up, so I have to figure out why the right response to the brakes with uh, dropping its RPM. But we'll see all that as we go along and figure out what is wrong with the car. Okay, hood is open and it looks like this requires some thorough cleaning and some replacement of parts. So far I don't see anything dramatic. The most important, although this doesn't look good, this is just surface rust, everything around the collar of these is fine and that's the important bit. It's horrifically different, diff difficult to repair this section if they are broken, if they are, if they are rusted through, but this all looks good. Um, it's the correct uh, air mass meter, air, air flow sensor, so that is a good thing. I do not see the screw here, so it's, it's possible, I don't, don't know that yet, but it's possible that the correct, that this is still correctly adjusted for CO and that our problems are somewhere else. It needs new hood struts, that over there is bent. Don't know if it's visible out of that or from that angle, but it's, it's bent 45 degrees, at the, uh, about 10, 15 centimeters from the end. The brake booster doesn't look too good, but does not necessarily mean it's bad. The washer bottle <laughs> is falling apart. The battery is too large. In order to fit this battery, they had to remove that mounting of the expansion tank. So I need to get the correct battery for this car. But otherwise, even though it's not pretty, I see nothing alarming. <laughs>